Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a collaboration with the lovely Leah from Leah XL. I will link her channel down below. We are doing the lipstick addict tag. Yeah. If you've been subscribed to me for a little while, you will know that I'm just like obsessed with lipsticks. So when she said, let's do this tag, it was like absolutely perfect. So for this tag, there are eight questions. I'm gonna pop them down below in case you would like to also do this tag. Leah has also done this tag. So I'm gonna link her video down below. Make sure to go watch it at the end of this and make sure to subscribe to her too while you're over there. So there are eight different questions. I've got them on my phone and yeah, I'm just gonna answer them basically. So the first question is, Favourite balm slash treatment. So this one was quite difficult for me, I'm not gonna lie. I have gone for the EOS lip balms slash the Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream. I really like both of these and I couldn't pick one. I think these are really nice for me for every day. They're so practical in my handbag because a lot of treatments tend to be like a stick. When you're like rummaging around in your handbag, you can't like feel them. Whereas this, you can sort of like get it up a corner and then grab it like you know that it's your lip balm. That's why I really like those. But I also really like the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream for days when my lips are really, really chapped and they need like a better treatment i think the lip balms are really great for like every day you know just like keeping them hydrated but this is like an intense treatment for me so i had to mention both i had to say both question number two is best eye catching red now again i had to pick two because i just find it so difficult like i just i had to mention two so the first one is the revolution lipstick what shade does this even in it doesn't say it doesn't say but it's basically a really dark red i'm going to start like swatching them so I can actually like show you. You can see like it's just like poah. It's lovely and Makeup Revolution is so affordable. Um, you can get them in Superdrug and obviously online. But yeah, so that would be my first one. My second one is the Avon lipstick. This is in the shade red because I absolutely love this. This Avon one is just a slightly brighter red, which is that one there. I absolutely loved this around Christmas because it's super bright and it's just a really complimentary red whereas this is more of a bit of a berry. I can just tell that my hands are going to be covered by the end of this video. Question number three, best luxury and best drugstore. Best luxury for me has to be Tom Ford. This is in the shade Spanish Pink. Again, I'm going to swatch it. I just absolutely love this and I think it's a lovely everyday colour. You can afford to wear Tom Ford every day. I think I'm starting too big. Just a really lovely everyday shade. The packaging obviously is beautiful because it's Tom Ford, um, but that has definitely got to be my high-end pick. Then for drugstore, it has to be Rimmel. I absolutely love Rimmel lipsticks. This is the Kate lipstick in the shade 101. I've mentioned this many times before on my channel. But that is what it looks like. It's just a really, again, a really nice everyday shade. I think it suits me quite well. So that would definitely be my So that has to be my drugstore pick. The next question is best MAC lipstick. Now this is kind of difficult for me because I never really stick with MAC lipsticks. Like one day I'll be loving this, the next day I'll be loving something else. But the one that I've constantly gone back to is the shade Creme Cup and it is the cream sheen finish. As you can see, I love it. So it has a very similar finish to the Tom Ford shade. However, it is slightly more pink whereas the tom ford one is slightly kind of more orange i would say i think the creme cup definitely has to be my kind of go-to if i was going to wear a mac lipstick every single day i'd probably wear that one question number five is most disappointing product now i've had to go for two i did have one and then i just had to mention this other product that i just completely forgot about but the first one is the retro matte ruby woo by mac I have mentioned this in a whole disappointing products video. I'll link that below in case you like watching those sort of videos. It looks so nice on, but it's so horrible. Like, I don't wanna say I hate it, but I just hate the whole texture of it. I feel like I'm absolutely scraping it across my lips. I don't know how people can like comfortably wear it. I'm just so like messy and dry. And I mean, even on the back of my hand, that it's not smooth at all. I, I know it's retro matte finish, so it's obviously gonna be extremely matte and dry but i just i just don't like it i think it's really messy and really uncomfortable to wear and my second one is this lipstick by barry m in the shade 167 the reason that this is disappointing is because of that i haven't even worn this once and it melted 
it melted. It was in my handbag and it melted. My handbag didn't have anything hot in it. There were other lipsticks in the bag, but this one melted. And I love the color of it. I love the shade. I'm running out of room. I absolutely love the shade of it. It's very similar, like you can tell I'm loving these colors. I just can't use it. I don't want to get another one if it's going to happen to me again. So if anyone has had Barry M lipsticks that have done that, can you let me know? If not, I probably will go and buy it again because I do, I really, really like it. It's such a lovely, lovely shade. Such a shame that it broke on me. Question number six is lip liner, yes or no? Yes. I will either just outline my lips and then use a lipstick or I will completely fill in my lips with the lip liner and then apply lipstick on top. But lip liner, yes, always. Question number seven is best gloss? Question mark. I don't really tend to ever wear lip glosses. I don't really like them that much anymore. I'm sure they'll be like a phase and I'll love them. So when I saw this question, I was a bit like, ooh. I don't really have one. But I bought this the other day and this is the NYX Intense Butter Gloss. I've only chosen it because it says gloss, like it has gloss in the word. So I think it counts. But it's more like, I would say it's kind of like a liquid lipstick. I'm going to swatch it. It is so pigmented. I've never ever tried NYX products before, but apparently Boots now sell them online. These are really affordable. They're £5.50 and as you can see, they're super, super pigmented. So this kind of gloss, I would definitely wear. Then the very last question, it just says something else. I can't make a video about lipsticks and not mention my favourite current brand of lipsticks, which is Charlotte Tilbury. If you have followed me for a while, you'll, you'll have seen this coming. I love the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. The number one packaging, absolutely beautiful. I have three Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. The first one I got was Bond Girl. I'm gonna have to go on my wrist. I'm running out of room to swatch. It's like that. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Again, extremely pigmented, which is what I love. Then the second one I got was Hepburn Honey. Oh, I've done it so awkwardly on my wrist. That is that shade, and it's just like a beautiful, kind of nude brown peachy shade, but I love that. And the third one is Bitch Perfect, which I got not that long ago. That is that shade there. They're just absolutely beautiful lipsticks. They feel so lovely on the lips. They last a really good amount of time. I just had to mention Charlotte Tilbury. Like, how have I not mentioned my favourite brand of lipsticks in the Lipstick Addict video? So that is all of the questions. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. I've also linked Leah's channel in the description box below. So make sure to go and watch her video and also subscribe to her whilst you're over there. I mean, you can tell I'm a lipstick freak. <sighs> God. And I will see you very soon for another video. Oh, put my thumb in it. Schnoo, why did you do that? Right, I really need to go wash my hands. <laughs> it's getting everywhere. Right, James? <laughs>